fetchy herb garden that I've got out here, y'all. It's doing pretty good. I have never done this before, so I don't exactly know like how successful I'm going to be, but I'm really excited and I love having my own cilantro and parsley. I'm actually gonna take some parsley because I'm gonna make some eggs and I want some parsley on top, so. Yeah, I gotta use these up. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Brittany Jade, and it is Wednesday again. Happy Wednesday, and we are doing another full day of low carb slash keto plus intermittent fasting. You guys know what I do here on my channel every single Wednesday. Y'all can expect these videos from me. If you're new here, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I hope that you guys would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of healthy eating and fitness related stuff here on my channel, a lot of motherhood style content and things like that so if you enjoy that kind of stuff join the fam I would love to have you here and if you're not new here welcome back thanks so much for always supporting me you guys are awesome being on this postpartum fitness journey is definitely something that I feel like I need to share and it's something that I'm really passionate about right now so I just feel like it's going to come through the most authentic here on my channel and I'm really glad and excited to take you guys along this journey with me as I'm trying to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight uh, my son TJ ah! Y'all, a freaking bee landed right on my hand. That scared me to death. I don't even know. I'll probably include that in the video because that is just who I am. Um, but we're gonna go inside. It's about 11.45 right now. I'm going to make some breakfast, just some eggs, and uh, probably a sausage patty or something. So I'll show you guys that. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get on into it. Oh yeah, I do wanna mention that um, I have been incorporating uh, intermittent fasting into my routine um, because I follow a lot of other low carb keto channels here and they've had tons of success with that. And I really have a problem with late night snacking and sweets cravings during that time. So I want to go ahead and eliminate that so my plan is to be done with eating no later than 6 30 and it's 11 45 right now and i'm getting ready to have my first meal i just had my pre-workout this morning and i'm not sure if that puts me out of fasting or not but i had that at 8 a.m so i will look more into that and talk about that later but let's go eat all right so this is my super simple breakfast y'all just some scrambled eggs with some cheese and a little bit of parsley and just a sausage patty and this is what I'm going to be eating to like break my fast. Hey guys, so it's like three o'clock right now and I, 3.30, wow, the day has really gotten by me but I've done a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna have just a little coffee, a protein coffee because I'm not really hungry but I know I should probably eat something before dinner. Um, so I got this Java House cold brew liquid pods. These things are awesome, they're just like, you can use them in your Keurig or you can just dump them right in, which is what I'm about to do. Literally, it is so easy. You just pop it open. Thank you. Pop it open and pour it into your glass. And if you're just drinking it like this, you would obviously put eight ounces of water in. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pour in um, one of these caramel premier proteins. Sorry, the light is like going to drown this out so bad. Let's see. So yeah, you guys get the gist, whatever. It's the Caramel Premier Protein flavor. This stuff is my favorite for coffees. Just dump that on in and that is what I'm going to be having. Um, I am gonna put a scoop of this Perfect Keto Salted Caramel Collagen in and this stuff is really good. I think it gives it a really nice flavor. Normally I wouldn't do this if I'd already put ice in but I'm just gonna YOLO it and hope and pray that it blends the way that I want it to. That's TJ in the back, he's rolling around on the ground. He's like, get back to me woman, get back to me. He's ruling my life today y'all. He is ruling, ruling my life. I am like at his every beck and call. I don't know if he's like going through something right now or what, but he's like really wanting me. And that's it. Mm. It's actually really good. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here because I think it's kind of strong. Okay, we're back and I have a little drooly visitor. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. Say hi. Mm. So I put some water in here. It does taste better. You do gotta water it down just a little bit. Mm. But I'm gonna sip on this 
try and drink some more water. We're gonna have some wings tonight. I'm gonna make some buffalo and some barbecue ones so you guys can see those. I got um, actually defrosting right now. Let me show you. I got these party wings from Costco. I, dude, I hope they're like wings. Okay, TJ is like not feeling it. I was just defrosting those, but um, I hope they're like wings. Like Costco was out of every kind of meat there is. Like they were out of everything. So, buddy, you were not gonna get my coffee. You were not. I gotta get out of here, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and sip on this coffee, and I'll catch you guys at dinner. I'll tell you the rest of the story about the chicken because I got everybody call me. Yes, Nova. Okay, you guys, so I have got my chicken um, all defrosted. I rinsed it off with some cool water. I know some people are totally against rinsing chicken. This is totally your preference, and this is just kind of like what I grew up doing. I know that it's like a controversial thing because I had some people comment on a previous video of mine um, asking why I rinse chicken, and I didn't know that like everybody didn't like clean their meat before they eat it, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so I rinsed my chicken in cool water. I laid them out on a paper towel and I pat them dry. You're gonna want your wings to be super dry because even though we're cooking this in the oven, um, we still want them to be really crispy. So that's why you wanna make sure that they're as dry as you can get them. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of the wings in this bowl here. So then we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some seasoning on. You're gonna wanna use baking powder and make sure that it's baking powder and not baking soda. Baking soda is going to leave like a really weird taste. Um, I'm gonna use about two teaspoons here. You're not gonna wanna use much more than that if you're on keto. Um, I'm gonna do just like, just like season your chicken like however you want. I'm going to be using some paprika. I am going to be using this Weber chicken and rib um, seasoning. I actually really like this stuff, so I'm gonna be using that. I'm gonna use some onion powder and then of course some uh, salt here as well, salt and pepper. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna like mix your chicken up here and get it all nice and coated with the baking powder and with the seasonings. So you're just gonna want to uh, massage everything in here and get it nice and coated. These, the Weber seasoning smells so good, you guys. It smells like a barbecue on a nice day. I just love it, love this stuff so much ever since I got it. I actually heard this from like another YouTuber about this web and chicken and rib and how it's like a must. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more baking powder just cause it's kinda looking like it might need some more. Cause I want these wings to be like nice and crispy. And then what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna um, put them on our baking sheet my baking sheet here lined with aluminum foil and I'm gonna go ahead and put them all on here and I'm going to bake them in an oven at 475 for about 30 minutes then I'm gonna flip them and do another like 15 or 20 depending okay so I started dinner entirely too late it's five o'clock right now I typically want to have dinner on the table by like 5 30 but I'm giving myself an eating window until 6 30 today because I didn't start eating until super late so I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my pre-workout from this morning so I use the Beachbody Performance Energize. This stuff is amazing. I've talked about it in literally every video. I am a Beachbody coach. So if you have ever heard about Beachbody and you don't have a coach and you're interested in um, joining up with like a team of badass women and like holding yourself accountable and just having like that support system as well as getting like, you know, amazing nutrition and at home workouts, which hello, are saving my life right now, hashtag quarantine, um, then definitely hit me up. Um, you can either comment down below or inbox me over on my Instagram, which I'll have linked below. I love talking to ladies and I love adding ladies to my support network and I can get you hooked up with all of these products as well as the at-home workouts I do. So about breaking your fast, apparently there are some sites that say that if you do not consume more than 40 calories, you're not breaking your fast. Then there are some people who say anything you put in your mouth besides like water, like black tea or black coffee is breaking your fast. One scoop of this um, pre-workout is 20 calories. There are five grams of carbs in this. So I'm gonna be talking to you guys a little bit about tracking and stuff like that. I'm not a huge tracking fan, but just for the sake of wanting to get back into keto, 
Ugh. For the sake of wanting to get back into ketosis as quickly as possible, I am going to be doing a little bit of tracking, but that's super good to know. Um, everything you put in your mouth, like there is a carb count or a calorie count, and it's very important that you know that. So I'm going to say that even though I had a scoop of this at 8 a.m., that I did not break my fast because it's only 20 calories and... It's not more than 40, so I'm gonna go with that. And I could be wrong. If you know more or if you're more educated on this, comment down below, let's have a chat because I'm still learning. Um, and so I didn't start eating until 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna give myself an eating window until 6.30 today. Um, and because I had prepared dinner so late and these wings are not gonna be done for so long, I'm gonna have a little snack and I'm gonna show you guys the snack is so good, so good. All right, y'all, here are the wings. It actually only took about 30 minutes at 475. Like I flipped them about 15 minutes through, so they came out perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make the sauce. I'm gonna take four tablespoons of Kerrygold butter here. This is my favorite butter. And I'm gonna split this between two sauces. Now these guys are gonna do barbecue, but I really want Frank's like buffalo sauce. So I'm gonna melt the butter in here and then I'll just get two separate like bowls and I will put the wings in there. Then I'm gonna put them back on the pan and broil them for just a few minutes to get them nice and like sticky with the sauce. All right, y'all, so here is my dinner. I've got some broccoli here. I just put um, half an ounce of shredded cheese on there, and I've got four wings, and I'm going to use this chunky blue cheese by the Ken's brand, um, two tablespoons of that for dipping, and y'all, this is, looks so good. I'm so excited for this. NPS, the time right now is 6.05, so I'm gonna try and like scarf this down as quick as I can because your girl wants some dessert. I like live for dessert, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna have after we're done with this. All right, you guys, so the last thing that I'm gonna show you tonight are these keto cookies that I picked up from Perfect Keto. Um, these were on the recommendation from Daniela Diaries here on YouTube, and I recently found her and love her. Like, she, <laughs> she influenced me to get all of this stuff, you guys, so I did pick up the um, Perfect Keto um, base, which it helps you uh, helps your body like develop ketones to get you into ketosis faster and I also did pick up the perfect keto salted car caramel uh, collagen like you guys saw earlier today and then of course I had to get these keto cookies and y'all when I tell you they are fire like so good um, typically I eat like one at a time which is what I think I'm gonna do tonight because I'm not really feeling like too cook like I'm actually really full right now but I know I'm gonna want a sweet tooth so I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out the park right now um, um, but for two of these cookies, let me see if I can get it to, okay, yeah, so for two of these cookies, dang, this... okay, you know how hard it is to do this with one hand, y'all, it's freaking hard, okay, y'all like my quarantine manicure, let me know in the comments, because I worked hard on this, but anyways, um, so two of these cookies, 210 calories, um, let's see here, there is... 18 grams of carbs, but four um, grams of fiber. So there's 14 net carbs, meaning there's seven net carbs per cookie and half a gram of sugar per cookie also. So, I mean, this is like good. But when I tell y'all that these are like super moist and good, like so delicious, check them out. I will have a link um, listed down below in my bio for you guys for all of these products here if you're interested in any of the Perfect Keto products. And as always, if you guys do any um, of my recipes, I told y'all that I was gonna make a snack tonight, but I didn't make the snack because I got so busy with the kids. But I'm gonna show y'all what the snack is really quickly because I think this snack like deserves recognition in this video even though I didn't make it. Um, and it's super, super easy and simple. It's only three ingredients and I have talked about this on my Instagram before, so. It's probably not new if you're not new to me. But what it is, is it is pepperonis topped with a little bit of cream cheese. And then the real kicker is the sliced jalapenos. Y'all, it is fire. It's like a little mini pizza bite. So I'll cut up like two ounces of cream cheese and I'll like um, thinly slice it on top of pepperoni and then top it with some jalapenos. So good, y'all, so good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of like give you guys that as like a quick like snack option. It's just not something that worked into my day for me. So, so 
thanks so much for clicking on today's video you guys i hope that y'all enjoyed it i hope that you guys love these videos if you do just make sure that you give it a thumbs up it really does support my channel it also supports my channel when you are subscribed so please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that y'all don't miss any uploads from me and i will catch you guys in the next video bye